curse you TikTokers. Everybody, if you don't already know, I'm O and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are getting to the Christmas decor shopping. It is time to deck the halls. At this point, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trick or treat, do whatever, but let's wrap this up. Um, I'm on my way to Hobby Lobby because um, I kind of have an idea of what I want my look to be for um, this Christmas season, so... Um, there's some things that I had in my cart the last time I was there that I actually ended up putting back. I didn't put everything back, but I put some of the stuff back. And it was a gamble, so now I'm going to go up here and see if they still have it. Um, so that, um, yeah, these things can work with the theme or color scheme, whatever you want to call it, for the look I have in mind. So, let's let's go. Let's go to Hobby Lobby. <music> This is a sad sigh. So apparently the color that I'm looking for is very popular right now. Curse you TikTokers. Um, yeah, the guy said this, those were flying off the shelf from the beginning. I literally had, if you look at my, um, the video where I did the bar cart and I went shopping looking for a mirror and whatnot, Hobby Lobby, I had some of them in my cart, but I wasn't completely sold on the idea that I had in my head. So I put them back. Big mistake. Big, and it was barely any that day, but big, big, big mistake. They are gone. He said somebody pulled up and bought several carts full. So either I'm going to find them somewhere else or something similar, or I literally got to go back to the drawing board and change my plans. This really sucks. But anyway, I'm right over here near Home Sense. So I'm going to go check that out. Let's go. Okay, you guys, so we've um, done all the shopping and everything. So I'm gonna try and get through a quick haul, show you everything that I picked up so far. Um, starting with this cup, I picked this cup up from Aldi. 
and it was $3.99. I thought it was just, you know, super cute and festive. Right now I'm just having a smoothie in it. They had a couple of different designs. Earlier in the video, I told you guys that I had went over to Hobby Lobby looking for this particular um, set of ornaments. There was a certain color that I was looking for and it's this light brown taupe colored um, ornament in the velvet texture. They're calling them flocked. Um, obviously they have gone viral. They're very popular. So when I went to look for them that day, they were all sold out. And this young man, I'm assuming he was like the manager, told me that there were people coming in with multiple carts, like not even the regular carts, but like the flatbed, like industrial type carts, um, just loading them up with ornaments. Not because these people want to like deck out their home, deck the halls, and it goes perfectly with the theme of their decor, no. These people are intentionally buying up all the ornaments so that they can resell them on resale sites such as Poshmark or Mercari and not only are they reselling them they are price gouging like crazy I think that is so trifling I think that is so greedy it is it, it's, it's ridiculous like leave something like I know like Target when they have those Stanley Cups that go on sale and everybody's going crazy for them, there's usually a sign, at least the ones that I've seen, there's usually a sign that limits how much a person can purchase. I'm gonna need um, Hobby Lobby to get on that because like, if most of these people are buying these with the intent of making a profit, none of us stand a chance. Like it's ridiculous. So I did eventually get my hand on some only because I had already, um, you know, done other things in an effort to achieve the look that I have in mind. I, ha I was invested at this point. So I did end up purchasing some from Poshmark from two different sellers. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, but, you know, I did what I had to do. Because like I said, I was already invested. But I don't wish bad on nobody. But I mean, like, if you were to step on a Lego, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bat an eye if they mess up your Starbucks order. But anyway, these are the ornaments. They go perfectly with what I have in mind, which is why I went ahead and purchased it from these price gouging monsters on Poshmark. So I have about four packs of these from one seller. And hold on. And then I have about, I think, four packs of these smaller ones as well. I want the larger ones, cause I'm doing two trees. So let me show you. This is the size that I want. I'm trying to find that color in this size. No luck so far, um, but yeah. If not, you know, I'm gonna make the best of what I have. But these are for my other tree. And again, same flocked black velvet. This set I was actually able to get from Hobby Lobby because black was the one color that was still in stock. I guess a lot of people don't really do black like that, but y'all know I very much do. I grabbed two sets of those extra large ones and then two sets of these large ones to go with what I already have from last year. Okay, speaking of things going viral and being popular, um, I also grabbed this um, garland from Hobby Lobby. I was able to get my hands on these before I even knew that they were going viral. I was like, you know, compared to what was on the market last year, these are far more, you know, superior in just the quality and the realistic look. Yeah, I picked up two. I wish I had gotten more, but um, hopefully I can like combine it with my garland from last year and um, build it up to make them look a little fuller. Like the seasonal holiday stuff at Hobby Lobby is always 50% off. So although this is, says $47.99, it was 50% off. Same thing with the ornaments, which makes me even more aggravated with how these people are buying ornaments for like $10 and then re 
let me let me show you. next up in my haul is this metal oversized bow again this is also from hobby lobby um we already have these large metal bows that i believe we got from home depot maybe about two years ago and i thought this would be perfect to go with it uh again hobby lobby 50 percent off the original price was 24.99 um but it was half off so we keep the larger bows on our bushes and then this will go on the door if you see me show you anything red that's for the outside of the house and if the light is going in and out please excuse me i'm trying to work with natural light right now i do not have any like lights set up or anything so hopefully this isn't going in and out too crazy um so yeah Bobby, the next thing i have is this um pillar candle holder from michael's it was this is $19.99, but um, I paid like $12 and some change for this. Super cute. It goes with the color scheme that I'm doing in some areas of the house. And I thought it was ni nice and elegant and rustic. It did have it in two different sizes. This is the larger one. There was a smaller one. I'm not positive. I may go back and try and see if they have um the smaller one still in stock um i don't know but i thought this was super cute next i have these velvet bows these are from target and they were five dollars a pack i got three packs i mean no explanation really needed cute velvet black bows to go with the cute velvet black um ornaments affordable like i said that's why i got three packs the next thing i got is from uh this is from dollar general just a nice little white mug for you know hot cocoa or hot tea super cute super simple it has a uh, reindeer motif going on and this was just three dollars all right so this next mug that i grabbed is for my daughter this was from a story y'all hear me fuss about all the time because it's not one of my favorites it's not my jam but i will say for christmas they have a lot of cute holiday stuff um especially for the outdoors but um it's only one-sided that's the only thing i don't like it's one-sided uh this is from at home and it was 4.99 i picked these two clay pots up from home since as well you guys it was the texture for me came in three sizes and I got the largest size and the smallest size the smaller one was $16.99 and the larger one was $29.99 speaking of at home I also picked up um, tree number two it says it's a seven foot now on the, on the display it says seven, seven and a half. You know how they like to get you. But anyway, it's a seven to seven and a half foot pre-lit hardwick spruce tree. But it has some of that like modern faux texture mixed in as well. So it's made of both. And most of that's going to be covered anyway um, because of what it is that I'm doing with the tree. So I'm okay with that. I picked um, this outdoor decor up from home depot there's something else that i want to go with it i don't know if i'll be able to get it we gonna see and this was 79.99 if there's something that i shared but i didn't mention the price please feel free to um, leave a question down in the comments i will be sure to share that with you if there's anything obviously i bought all this stuff in store but if there's any links that I can share, um, I will do so. Once my husband brings the rest of my totes from the attic, I can really dig in and pull out what I'm gonna put with this new stuff to create the look that I have in mind for this year. I almost forgot, you guys also saw me go to Bath and Body Works. They were having their sale uh, where all their three wick candles are 1095. So I'm gonna show you guys all the ones that I picked up because I went back twice. First one up is Eucalyptus Snowfall. 
this smells so good for me you cannot go wrong with eucalyptus i love the smell of eucalyptus and they've paired it with it says frozen eucalyptus snowy spearmint and winter lavender take eucalyptus and turn it into like a snowy holiday scent say less i wish y'all had smell of vision that's amazing so i got that one i'm gonna try and go through this quickly my favorite of all of them it is winter golden pear this smells uh amazing so this one says snowy golden pears winter green leaves and a hint of cypress mm, 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 mm. in my mind listen i'm ready if y'all can't tell the third candle from this bag was for my husband um it's his favorite scent which is coffee and whiskey so he has that already he took it to work to put in his office Okay, so that was from the first trip. Next trip, I picked up Frosted Cranberry. I mean, you don't really have to explain this. That's perfect. It's nice and light. This says Ice Cranberries, Blonde Woods, don't know what that means, Red Apple, and Tonka Bean. Also don't know what that means. That smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. I specifically went back looking for this one because I was like, I didn't see that. So when I went back, I specifically looked for it. And it is lavender and pine. Baby. Again, a classic holiday smell, which is pine, but paired with lavender. Quit playing. Oh, sincerely, like this smells like you just got out the tub. On Christmas Eve and somebody just brought a fresh tree in the house like what oh this is the last one spiced apple toddy mm. I mean I think you can already gather what this is what it's giving it's apple cider being boiled on the stove that's what it smells like to the 10th power warm apple brandy spiced plum tart cranberry and cinnamon stick <sighs> anyway let me stop i'm so excited it's not only going to look and feel like christmas but it's gonna smell like christmas up in here all right, you guys, that is it. And that is all for this Christmas decor haul for 2024. If there's anything else that I get that's going to go with the look that I have planned for this year, I will share it with you guys when I get to decorating. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and that you're leaving with tons of like Christmas and holiday season inspiration. Um, if you have, please hit the like button. Please leave me a comment down below. Um, and make sure that you share this video as well so that other people can get this same inspiration that I'm sharing with you guys. Um, and definitely come back for more because this is only the beginning. I am so excited to fill my home with that holiday cheer. This is my favorite time of the year. Ask anybody who know me, they will tell you this is not a game. I love me some Christmas. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>